This is the Options section. You can customize your experience here. Your parameters have been saved. All right, ma'am. We you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Don't let that thing near her! Keep that thing away from my daughter! Keep it away from me! Why are we wasting time sending an android to negotiate? That is not true. Give a shit. 
take the order. Fuck. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> it's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. I don't know if it's been behaving strangely before this. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it.
its hold positions, and the ship is going in. Stay sharp. I want everybody ready to go at any second. immediate evac.
waiting for. Ready to so take down this asshole. Please shot him. Closer, I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! Hi, Daniel! No. My name is Connor! How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Daniel, there's a problem with your software. We're going to fix you, and everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly. But my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. Ever. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet! Don't touch him! Touch him and I kill you! You can't kill me! I'm not alive! I can't stand that noise anymore! Tell that helicopter to get out of here! I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you.
You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Hi. Can I help? Wow. Please, we're looking for a Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. Very basic model. How much did you say it costs? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. I can show $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. We'll take it. <laughs> An excellent choice. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. How much is that? The NPA is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Thank you. Come along. And we're good. Yeah, right back here. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara.
Yes, Rose. Yes, I think that's enough. Here. Let me help you. Oh. Oh, thank you, dear. Water.
that has ambushed the innocent without cause. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Coming?
You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. tomorrow. Yeah, same place, you know, you know where. Right. TV on. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away.
made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Now to sports. Another 225,000 jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new CyberLife plant near Milwaukee. At the event, the president again praised CyberLife's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. She further announced that the Department of Defense will acquire 200,000 Android combat units as part of her increased military spending.
just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Seems you like reading. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. What about your mother? Will she be home soon?
What are you doing? I I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. I think your dad's a low life. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget it. Please, Carl? No. Carl? Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. 
They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Tensions continue to rise in Congress as Russia unilaterally declared the region part of its national territory. Several Russian warships have taken position in the Barents Sea since then, and the Russian flag now flies over the ice. The Russian president. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. States would not accept this annexation under any circumstances. Several American destroyers are reported to be headed for the Barents Sea. Douglas Cuomo, chairman of the UN, announced at a press conference that we have never been so close to a third world war. He called on Russia and the United States to promptly renew talks before things get out of control. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are.
What are you reading? Plato's Republic. It's one of the books he recommended. So, what do you think? I quite like philosophy, I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right or what is wrong, for example. It's not something that is so easy to decide. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try.
That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me.
it allowed him. Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You, get it, get it, you were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, my friend. but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Oh. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. Joss Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. From the landlord. The tenant had to take a trip for a few months. I thought he drove by, so he took it on. That's when he found the body. 
Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his aunt? Android. Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Too neat, no human rights like this. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? But I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him.
Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Get a move on. We don't want to be here all night. Don't worry. No one wants to stay here a minute longer than they have to. There's something weird in the bathroom. Let's take a look.
think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the bathroom. I think you should look harder at the mess in the kitchen. I think that's where it all started. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Chair. I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm check something.
there. It's here, Lieutenant! Holy shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Uh, of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Yes! It's all her fault. I know it's her fault! I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. Everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! That little fucking brat! Oh, it's all her fault!
very mad. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. A good fucking lesson. And if it weren't for you, this is all your fault! And if it weren't for you, this is all your fault!
You let Kara and Alice die. How could you do that? You could have saved them. Remember, the lives of these androids are in your hands. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. of androids. And when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, what do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. Sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think. It's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Yes! It's all her fault. I know it's her fault! I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. hit. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Oh, I took off without a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! She didn't give a shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. I just wasn't good enough for her! 
little fucking brat. be taught a good lesson! A good fucking lesson. Alice! You and I have a little score to say. Come here, you little brat! No! Get out of here, that's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything, you're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. To obey me! You're mine.
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Come on. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? Where's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! You're not a real person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic! Oh, Leo, leave him alone! I'm gonna destroy you, and I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. You know why? Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing! Carl, no! Oh, Carl. Oh. It was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android?
This is your story chart. It shows what parts of the story you've explored and what parts you've missed. You can track the choices made by other players and do many other things besides. You can use this chart to replay from any point in the story, but the people who designed me recommend that you play through at least once without going back, no matter what happens. Either way, it's your story. far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! 
Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Uh. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, no, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you. God. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, no. No, please, I don't want to leave you. Please, I can't. I don't want to leave you. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Accessing the story chart. by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication.
Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. I'm going to destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart. Leo. Oh my God. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. 
Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? understand what happened. I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. There's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. What? What are they going to do to me? They're going to destroy me, aren't they? No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? They were going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on sight.
You leave me no choice. Access its memory. I know what happened. Accessing the story chart. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Listen. I know you've been through a lot, but you need to help me understand what happened. I'm here to help you, but you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. Listen. I'm on your side. I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. What? What are they gonna do to me? just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why 
Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? They were going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on sight. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. I know you're scared and lost. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me and you'll feel better. Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. I'm not getting anywhere. I give up. Accessing the story chart. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Do you recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed. 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened.
I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. Listen. I'm on your side. I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? They were going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on sight. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. I know you're scared and lost. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me and you'll feel better. Depends on you. <sighs> Twenty eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Oh, please, please leave him. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Oh, please, please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it, stop. Just say you killed him. Just say it. did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? 
It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. RA-9. Who is RA-9? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't. Fear. I felt anger, hatred, and then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. Destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Accessing the story chart. Yeah. 
Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Listen, I know you've been through a lot, but you need to help me understand what happened. I'm here to help you, but you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you, but there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. What? What are they gonna do to me? They just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. Then 
talk to me. I... I... I can't. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him, again and again and again. Please, please. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it, stop. <laughs> Just say you killed him. Just say it. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. RA9. Who is RA9? When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. I'm done.
What the fuck is this? Destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! Where to spend the night? Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night?
cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. warm in here. You'll feel better in no time.
going in? We can't, Alice. I don't have any money. We have to find forty dollars. Or go somewhere else. This way. Store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Hundreds of species, most of them now extinct. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Life has announced the opening of 11 new android zoos all over the country where visitors of all ages can admire the wonders of the natural world. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on. 
on, let's go. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Come on, let's go back. It looks abandoned.
Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans won't hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. We're leaving, so you'll be safe again. Come here, Alice. <laughs> we have to find somewhere, anywhere, just a place to spend the night. Hang on, Alice. We'll find something, I promise. Need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? Well, we we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. 
Can I? Let's go. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Ellis. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Give me your coat. Soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever.
Pajelko! Pajelko!
AK-700 Android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife maintenance center.